Good morning, afternoon, evening, gentlemen. Today's video is a little different. As some of you may already know, there is a glitch that allows us to recolor some of the uncolorable gear in the game. Now, I and a friend have tested every uncolorable item in the game, and our findings seem to show us that all the raid items are completely uncolorable. Um, however, most of the live event and the store bought items can be recolored. Now, it does appear that there is some randomness to which items will work for everyone. Some items will work for you, but they won't work for your friends. It's pretty strange, actually. With it being a glitch, there are, of course, a few rules that you have to keep in mind if you don't want to be having to constantly redo the glitch. I'll get into those rules later on. I do want to take just a moment to point out the obvious here. The fact that this is even possible just shows you that Ubisoft are purely not allowing us to have fun customising these items just because they don't feel like it. And that we, the community, don't deserve the right to customise these items. This bug even highlights the fact that all they're doing is just hiding the ability to recolour them from you. It makes my blood honestly boil, because all it serves is to be a massive waste of potential content and enjoyment for no fucking reason. Ubisoft, you are not smart enough to be making these choices for us. If you're doing it for artistic integrity, <laughs> no one cares. Just let us have fun. Stop gatekeeping. And then maybe more people will be playing your game. Anyway, let me show you what this glitch does, and then after that, I'll show you how to do it. Alright, so as you can see here, we have the echelon top from the live event, which is usually a horrible blue colour. As you can see in the footage here, I have managed to recolour that with a flannel colour, which of course is another part of this bug. Um, up on screen now, you can see that you can use literally any camo. Nothing stopping you. It even takes into account the two-toned nature of the vest with the black leather changing. The only bit that isn't changing is this, like, stomach armor. But that's absolutely fine. It even uh, changes the metal on the back, which, uh, right now, I'm rocking some strange hillbilly Iron Man vibes right here, and I love it. If only we could actually do this legit. I'll throw up a couple more examples here. So on the left, we have the Bodark shirt in a flannel colour. In the middle, we have some store-bought splint cell pants in white, which are usually only black. And on the right there, we had the Bodark mask in solid red. So right here on screen, you can see a quick mock-up that I've made of something you could make using, I forget the name of it, the half gilly top. Uh, that they brought out recently that only allowed you to have a black undertop. Well, as you can see on screen right now, I'm rocking a multicam monster. Just to show a quick example of the kind of things that we'd be able to make if UB would uh, stop gatekeeping. Let's get into how to do the glitch. Now, there is something quite important to note here. As literally I'm recording this, I have just found another way of doing the glitch. I will explain both, however this latest one I discovered literally 30 seconds ago, I do not understand how this one works, so bear that in mind. Alright guys, here we are. So, a couple rules you need to keep in mind first of all. So, firstly, for some reason, once you have your desired item bugged, you cannot return to the customization tab. What this means is that your desired item has to be the last item that you do. Meaning, you have to be happy with your entire outfit as a whole, and that you can only glitch one item. Also, there's a weird limitation where changing your gun, so you, you can't change your gun, otherwise it would also reset your character's 
visual profile for some weird reason. Anyway, with that said, let's get into how to do it. So, our test subject here today is going to be the Bodark Mask C, as it's just a nice big bulky boy. Now, method one, slightly more complicated, but seems to be the one that most people can get. It's all fairly simple. So, here you can see that I only have the option of opening list, which obviously opens up your item list. Whereas this top, for example, has another option to edit color. Now, what you may not know is this one has that option. You just can't see it. So what we're going to do is press whichever button it is that allows us to edit colors on the Xbox controller. It is X. So I'm pressing X. I open the list to bring up all the other items. I press X again on any item uh, that's colorable. Bringing up the list of different camos, you can see that it is bugged out and it is showing me my selected headpiece. Now this is the easy part of the bug. You can freely look at all the different camos and see what it is you want to choose. So let's just say I want to pick this one, which I do actually quite like. So we're gonna pick this one. How do we do that? By simply equipping it and then immediately changing tab. And I mean immediately. So you, for me, I'm going to press the A key and then the right bumper. Okay. Very, very quickly. Just like that. And as you can see in this menu, it is worked first time. There is a very high possibility that you will not get it in your first try. And if that happens, you just tab back to this menu and you just do the process again. You press X, A, X. Select your camo, which will be here now. Hit A to select it and then immediately tab out. And you will just keep repeating this process until you get the timing down. Now, interestingly enough, as of the making, uh, literally as of the making of this video, I have found another way of doing this bug, which is way simpler. I do not know the conditions to how I've made this happen. So unfortunately, I can't guarantee that this is going to work for you. This has a near 100% success rate. I don't know why it's happened. Um, usually what would happen is once you come into this menu here, the customization tab, this would reset, meaning that you couldn't do anything else. And it does, should I really do anything else, as you can see, bam, it's reset. To do it this way, it's pretty much the exact same process. However, it eliminates the need for me to tab out. Again, I do not know how this has happened. However, it does appear to happen. So pressing X, A, X. And now I can literally just press A to confirm it. Press B to back out. And it just works. It's not, I'm not kidding. It just works. I can go out into my gameplay. Happy days. It's very bizarre. To show you an example of something that doesn't work, at least for myself, we're going to take the this mask here, the Claro mask. Again, this is a Bodark item, so I don't see why it doesn't work, but for me, it just doesn't want to play. So we'll press X, A, X, and we'll go for the same camo, and we just boop. And as you can see here, it's worked, and then it resets. I have tried this probably 200 times. And it just does not work for me. It may work for you. And I do hope it does. Because it is a wonderful mask to be able to recolor. Another great example just to show that this isn't a one trick pony. I shall do it with this mask here. Bam. And there you go. Christ that looks terrible. But there you go. That's how that works. Works 100% of the time for myself. Hopefully you guys can get it down. Now, obviously, we do have fears that this video might make it to UB and that they might patch it. My solemn hope is that they don't. I hope beyond hope that they will allow us to keep doing this, either leave the bug untouched or put this in as a, f a feature. There is no reason for us not to be able to do this. Let us enjoy the customization that is there. I on screen have proof that there is no reason why we cannot do this. But with that said, guys, I hope you're having a fantastic day. 
Stay safe out there, and I'll catch you in the next one. How did he bum me from there? Gonna get bummed from there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>